everyone, welcome back for another card crafting video. Today I'm going to be creating some Valentine's Day cards, but first I wanted to show you something that I picked up for myself for Christmas. <laughs> this is the Spellbinders Limited Edition Platinum 6. I have the larger size, but I wanted the smaller size to sit on the desk next to me. So I picked this one up. I love the colors on it. Let me open this up and show you what's inside. It included some pretty happy birthday dies and flowers. So let me pull out the handle and then pull out the whole machine just to show you what this looks like. I think the light and the dark teal coloring on this is so pretty. And then it has some pretty flowers on each side of it. Let me show you here. I'll just pull it out of the bag. Has this cute pop-up handle. And then look how pretty those flowers are. And you get the flowers on every side. And it's just little enough to sit next to you on your desk while you're crafting. I love the fact that it can fold up and you can store it away if you need to. So let's put the handle on. It's really easy to do. Inside this bag, you'll find an Allen wrench and a screw, and I think it's called a nut. It's like a flat nut. <laughs> but it just pops on the side like so. And then you put the nut next, if I'm calling that correctly. <laughs> I just put mine on the screw. Then you just kind of twist it in place and then use the Allen wrench to tighten it. I'll just spin this until I can't spin it anymore. And it does come with a protective cap, but I didn't see that in the bag at the time. I found it later, I almost threw it away, and it will cover up that screw and make it look really nice and tidy. So the plates are in this package here. And it comes with some really pretty cutting plates. They're teal as well, which is so much fun. I love teal. Here's the instruction packet. I'll just file that away. But it tells you how to put together all of your different sandwiches for die cutting and embossing. Okay, so here is the main plate, the platform. So let's put these two pieces aside and look at these sparkly teal plates. <laughs> so pretty. I'm going to be using this machine a lot to create my three cards today. So let's put this to the side of the desk and get started on the card crafting. Spellbinders has come out with a new club kit of the month and I'm so excited about this one. This is the embossing folder club kit and this one here is called Spreading Love. It is perfect for your A2 size cards as well as your mini slim lines and your slim lines. It measures eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. So we'll be playing with this today as well as the clear stamp and die of the month. This one is all about Valentine's Day. It's called One Love, One Heart. This time the dies cut out every single image in the stamp set. So I love that. If you don't want the dies, you can buy the stamp set club just on its own, but it even has banner dies to cut out the sentiments. So I really love that. This stamp set has three big hearts and one of them has a sentiment in the middle that says, happiness is a moment with you. And then the other two have flowers and greenery inside them. I'm going to give you a peek at some of the other club kits for January. These all coordinate beautifully, so that's why I wanted to show them all in this video. So this is the small die of the month. You get this gorgeous cover plate. This is called a lot of heart for obvious reasons, but it's almost like a cover block because it cuts out all of those triangles separately. You get a beautiful ornate heart as well as some flowers to cut out and put on the heart. So I'll be showing you a card I created with this in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that one. 
And then let me pull out the large die of the month. This one is really unique. It's called A Pocket Full of Love. And it's created for an A2 sized card. And it creates the most beautiful pocket and little heart insert to go inside your pocket for your cards. These all have dies that interchange between the, the kits. So this has an outline that'll cut out the heart for the small die of the month. And then let me pull out all of the pieces so you can see all of these dies. It has the most beautiful ornate flower on the pocket piece. And then it has builder pieces so you can build the flower over it and give it some dimension. It also includes another gorgeous ornate heart and the die to cut it out. Okay, so let's get into the first card. I'm going to create a slimline card using this gorgeous embossing folder. I'll also be using the clear stamp and die of the month club. So I decided to pull out some pink sand cardstock. I cut this down to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter so that I have a border on my card base. The size I like for slimline cards is eight and a half by three and a half. So let's go ahead and pop this in the new Platinum 6. I'll center this inside the embossing folder. And I didn't mention before, but it's full of hearts, lots of mini hearts, and they look like they're in the shape of rainbows. So there you can get a better look at it. I just want to line it up evenly. And then for this machine, you use the platform and then you put a plate over it. So I'll turn the handle and run this through the machine. It looks like I have it kind of crooked there, but it runs through the machine perfectly. And now let's take a peek at the results. So here it is, isn't it just beautiful? So each month they'll have a new embossing folder. And this is going to be a great stash builder. So this is how it looks on the slimline card. I'll have a nice white border around it. I'm going to go ahead and use some dot liner to adhere this down to the card base. You could use liquid glue, of course, if you want. I was a little worried I would crush the embossing, but it worked out just fine. Now let's pull out the stamps. And I'm stamping these onto a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I was only able to fit two on this little piece of cardstock, but I will be stamping out all of the stamps in this set. I'm going to stamp them up with some Copic Friendly ink. I like my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink, but I do have to stamp these out several times just to build up the color. I'm only going to show one stamping, however. And here they are, all stamped out. Aren't those just beautiful? I think you could use these all year round, not just for Valentine's Day. I haven't stamped out the smaller stamps yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start in on my Copic coloring. I'm using my favorite, well, one of my favorite green combinations. This is, let me grab the markers. YG61 and YG63. They're just soft green colors. I love these. So I'll color all of the greenery on all three hearts with this, these two markers. I am going to speed up this video just a little bit for the sake of time. The flowers, I'm going to use some pinks and reds. And I pulled out, and this is another of my favorite combos, it's the R22, which is kind of a soft salmon colored red, and the R24. And then I'm even going to bring in the R89 for a really dark shadow. This 
R22 is a marker that I use a lot. So I'm going to stop here, pull out the tip and refill it. I like these new refillers because they have a really long nozzle on them. I don't have a lot of Copic marker refills, just the ones that I use the most, but I slowly purchase them as I need them. Lately, I've been in an organization kick. So while I was creating these three cards, I had to stop and organize all of my Copics. They were in such a mess and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> I like to put my lightest color down first, then the middle color, and then the darkest at the base of the petals. I'm just going to color in one heart on camera and then the rest I will color in off camera. I pulled in an R11 for the centers of these flowers. I taped the heart die in place and I'm going to cut these out. This die leaves a white border around these hearts which I like but if you don't like the white border you'd have to fussy cut these out yourself. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to add some Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink to the edges of my pink panel. And I should have done this before I glued it down. But that's all right. I just add a little, little bit of masking tape around the edges so that I can keep my white border. And I'm using an ink blending tool to just uh, blend on a little bit of ink. Blending ink over your embossing kind of helps to bring out the pattern. It looks really pretty. I'm going to leave the center pink. Now I can peel off the masking tape and start adding the hearts. The middle heart I'm going to pop up with some foam pieces. I have my card taped down at the side because it just keeps wanting to pop up. <laughs> the other two hearts I'm going to glue down flat with some liquid glue. So I know it's kind of early in the year, but have any of you started on your Valentine's Day card crafting yet? I love creating Valentine's Day cards. I usually start that in December. <laughs> By December, I'm pretty much done with my Christmas cards and my winter cards. I'm ready for spring already. And as I sit here recording this, it's snowing outside really heavily. <laughs> so the snow has just begun here in Chicagoland. I'll put some acrylic blocks over the hearts to press them into the paper while they dry. I added a few red gems and here it is all done. On the inside, I added another little heart with the sentiment from the stamp set that says, I heart you. And I ink blended around that one as well. Okay, so my next two cards are going to be A2 sized cards. I'm going to emboss both of these panels. I have a piece of pomegranate and a piece of Dahlia cardstock from Spellbinders. I have two top folding A2 sized card bases and I'm going to assemble both of these together at the same time. So I'll pull in my white card bases. I'll attach these using some dot liner and I just love the white border around these. They just it just helps to make the cards really pop. For the hearts on these cards I went ahead and colored them in off camera just with more Copic markers. I used the same greens and the same reds. But this time I colored, in, colored the inside of the hearts, a pink and a blue, just with some really pale Copic markers. This is the R11 for the background of the pink and it is a B000 for the blue one. I'll put some foam adhesive behind both of these hearts and just kind of Place them at the tops of these cards. I stamped out the sentiments already and cut them out with the banner dies. I put little dots of foam behind the banners and this first one says be my valentine. I'm just going to center it under the heart. These are very simple cards but with these very ornate 
stamps. You don't need to do much. So here are the smaller stamps that I colored in and cut out with the coordinating dies. I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the florals on these. I'll add some clear enamel dots on this red one. I'll add three on this panel. It needed a bit more shine, so I pulled out my Spectrum Noir clear glitter pen, and I'll add it over the flower. And then this one is all ready to go. Isn't that pretty? Here's a close-up look. I love that little pop of dimension on the flower. I didn't decorate the insides of these yet, but I am going to. So let's pop up the heart on the second card. And as you see up at the top right, I have the flowers ready to go that I'm going to put over the flowers on this heart. And then the sentiment on this one, it just says, I adore you, and it's a smaller sentiment. But it's going to be the exact same design. I'm going to put the sentiment underneath the heart. And I put some more of the small foam pieces behind it. It's hard to center this. I'm going to pull out my tweezers just to get my hands out of the way so that I can center this exactly. I use one of these small foam squares behind these flowers. I'll peel off the release paper and then I can just pop these into place. I have one more flower to use. I'm going to put that at the bottom of the heart. As you can see, I already added some crystal clear confetti pieces around this card. And here's the flower at the bottom. Didn't want this little piece to go to waste since I took the time to color it in. I have an envelope full of extra pieces that I've colored and die cut but didn't want to waste. So they're just sitting in an envelope waiting for me to use them on a card. But my envelope keeps getting bigger and bigger. I need to pull those out one day. And here is the finished card. Aren't these just fun? These are going to be really nice to send out into the mail. I'm going to try to send Valentine's Day out to all my family and friends this year. Here are the three cards I created using the clear stamp and die of the month as well as the embossing folder of the month from Spellbinders. Thanks so much for spending some of your time with me today. I'll have all of the products listed in the description box below as well as over at my blog. I'll have pictures of my cards there as well. Have a wonderful day everyone. Bye!